everyone and welcome back. Today we're watching some more of the originals. We're at season one, episode nine. And this one is titled Raining Pain in New Orleans. Raining Pains. Uh, Klaus is going to have a hard time trying to have people follow him and just respect him altogether. So let's just uh, check it out. To my city, my home again. May the blood never cease to flow. And the party never ends. I just don't get it, man. You know we would have still with you till the end. Letting you do that would have been letting you die. And you're still my people. And now just follow my lead. And trust me, it ain't over yet. A true community of vampires. What about her? Wolf. Be nice. Let you let me finish, Diego. I understand that some of you are concerned by this vicious rumor that I intend to use the blood of our child to create hybrids. I assure you, I do not. Father of the year. See, how can I sire any hybrids? If there are no more werewolves alive in the bayou to turn. What? Class, no. So eat, drink, and be merry. And tomorrow I suggest you have yourselves a little wolf hunt. Go ahead. Have fun. Kill them all. If the quarter is yours now, you still need me, why? My memoirs. A thousand years of history isn't going to write itself. Kim, what are you doing here? My question exactly. Oh, it's quite all right. She knows. She does. They are vampires. Don't worry, he's compelled me to forget everything as soon as I leave. You think you're so clever, don't you? Compelling the poor, naive bartender. Look what I found. Real me. Not your compelled therapist. Well, actually, I prefer a devoted stenographer. You think this is funny? Messing with my mind? My sanity is not a joke. No, love, I don't believe it is. You never found this. You will remember nothing of our life as vampires when you leave here. Do you understand? The werewolves who need help. He ordered a wolf hunt as some jacked up peace offering to Marcel's crew. You have to help them. And the bayou. Do we look like a bloody vampire rescue squad? You could be grateful we came to save you. And help me. Help my people. Please. Turns out your little witch is quite the actress. She made a deal with Elijah while he was in captivity, tricked you into letting her stay put in exchange for some spells from our mother's grimoire. Good to know. Nice. And so then I picked Elijah and left him in the bayou with my hybrid venom in his veins. Serves him right to me to make vile accusations against me. We want to be sure you understand how things work around here. Is that so? <laughs> look, you freaks, do your thing and uh, we'll look the other way. As long as our pockets stay full, we won't have a problem. However, if you cross the line, you answer to us. <laughs> uh, Klaus. Here are my terms. You will take whatever scraps I see fit to leave you and you will be grateful. If that doesn't suit you, I may decide you've outlived your usefulness. Haley sent you here to protect us, didn't she? Tell her we appreciate the concern, but we've been looking out for ourselves for a while now. Nobody finds us unless we want to be found. Well, we found you, so... Like I said... Something you and your family should know about. Hello? Mr. Michelson, I just want to let you know the factions considered your terms. We've reached a decision. Of you. <laughs> I 
I mean, clearly, I underestimated the faction. That won't happen again. But tell me, now that we've arrived at this point, now that they have come into our home, visited this upon our people, how would you counsel me to respond? Let's go kill them all. Surrounded by 20,000 acres. You're Haley. Class's wife. Ew. No, never. Ew. I'm a pregnant werewolf. Then you must be the all-powerful super witch Davina. Maybe there's a world where we can all look out for each other. I thought you called this meeting. The hell we did. Actually, I called it. It appears I made a grave error during our earlier conference. Marcel! Shall we? After you. Look at that creepy smile from Klaus. Come on, Eliza. You've fallen for her, admit it. May do wonders for the stick that's lodged up your enduringly stark ass if you did. I bet you that it's complicated, but that suffice. Well, are you determined to torment me throughout this endeavor? <laughs> Darling, we have to stop meeting like this. This is how rumors begin. Precisely three minutes time, your little hunting party will become the prey. Now, based on your recent failure to subdue my baby brother, Niklas, this despite a better than 100 to 1 advantage. I recommend you heed my warning. Wise choice. Impressive. Well, I thought the situation demanded something a little dramatic. Who are you? I would say the better question is who are you? I will not do to my child what was done to me. To us. I was jealous. I saw the empire you had created on your own without me. I saw it and I wanted it. taught me that a man can't be defined by anyone but himself. So, what now? So rule with me, side by side, as equals. excited for that actually I wanted them to just work together <laughs> the witches are after me you mean that crazy witch Agnes yeah she tried to kill me too the thing is she's dead Elijah killed her but Agnes was the last living elder if she's dead then I'm safe Marcelo told me maybe he didn't want to lose a secret weapon against the witches Elijah went all berserker on her crew. I guess it was super gross. Just like heads and guts. Blah. What? Oh. You hate the witches. Just confirmed. Kelly was right. Marcel's just using me. Josh, I can't stay here. I'm not going to be their puppet. You have to get me out of here. Oh, okay. Do you recognize it? Perhaps you don't. It has been a thousand years since you last saw Grace the hand of our mother. The ring was in possession of one of the very wolves whose extinction you just ordered. A chief of theirs had fathered a child to a very powerful witch. And mythology further states this child, a son, was later transformed into something this clan had never before seen. We're trying to make amends. So they're related. We remnants of your family. The bloodline of your true father. 
And we save them from being slaughtered at the hands of the vampires you command. That's your ambition to come for He's having a rough go. Even if this is what you say it is, I've had enough of family to last me a lifetime. Why would I possibly want any more? It's time for you to leave this place, Cammy. For your own good. You were such a coward. If you knew even a fraction of who I am, it would break you in two. Then show me. she's gonna remember everything also because she's gonna remember uh i guess like the last time that um klaus compelled her and he explained like i'm doing this for your own good and you need to leave because it can, what you know can cause more harm than good i just hope because at the same time, it's still like a big violation of her mind. And I never really like compulsion. It's just too easy. It's just like the easy thing to do. But in certain situations, it can really... Like... Help keep people out of danger. I just hope that she doesn't hate Klaus after this because yeah he's been compelling her for a long time and she feels like um and I also feel like it's it's wrong but he really did want to keep her safe I just hope that she knows that and she can like see the whole timeline and what happened and everything that because in the beginning he was compelling her for his own like benefit because what she wanted to do was getting in the way of what he wanted 
so he was like yeah i can't have you try to find things out about your brother and everything so i feel like in the beginning it started as something very selfish for uh from klaus but in the end it's like he really cares about her and he doesn't want her to be involved in any of this and he just wants her gone but also she has a right to find out what happened with her brother so it's this whole thing and I'm just curious of like what direction it's gonna go if she's gonna just like be really really mad or she's gonna be a little understanding of the reasons why he did it she's also gonna be like really really shook because like vampires everything witches like it's just gonna be a lot for her to try to make sense of so yeah i kind of feel for cammy i feel bad for her but she has a right to know you know was season one episode nine raining pain in new orleans it was really good so um i'll see you guys for the next one bye, -bye.